Good morning. Today is Thursday, September 1st, 2022. Please join me and stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Happy birthday today to Jace Pretzer and Miles Sargent. For lunch today, we'll have a turkey sub sandwich, celery sticks, blue raspberry lemon slushy, Frito chips, and milk. For breakfast tomorrow, we'll have a long john, diced peach cup, orange juice, and milk. Last Wednesday, the running Braves visited Seneca for their second cross-country meet of the season, taking on the Raiders as well as Ottawa Shepherd and Gardner South Wilmington. In the girls and boys combined one-mile race, the top 10 was dominated by Morris. Cora Passerman and Camden Sullivan of MGS took the top two spots as Sullivan PR'd with a time of 7 minutes 27 seconds. In third was Sly Eberhard, Eberhard of Nettle Creek, only a second behind, PRing at 7 minutes 28 seconds. Fifth through 10th places were all Morris as Addie Bloomberg, Josie Mueller, Lily Hogus, Casey Mack, Alaya Thannenbaugh, and Lizzie Windy earned top spots with Mueller and Thannenbaugh PRing. Kaylin Clausen and Luna Severson added to their own PRs as well, making marking a very successful race for the fifth and sixth graders. In the ladies' two-mile race, Josie Mueller of ICS doubled up on races and took first place, crossing at 16 minutes, 44 seconds. Grace Mack and Emma, Emmy Bibley of Saratoga also placed in the top 10, with Mack finishing eight, earning a PR of 18 minutes, 30 seconds, and Bibby finishing 10th at 19 minutes, 23 seconds. Kaylin Clausen and Leah Lowry of MGS also walked away with new personal bests, with Clausen earning her second PR of the night at 23 minutes, 14 seconds, and Lowry finishing at 22 minutes, 44 seconds. Well done, ladies. In the gentlemen's two-mile race, Morris impressed once again as Michael McCarthy earned another first-place finish, crossing at 12 minutes, 40 seconds. Ryan Reeser of ICS finished third with a new PR of 12 minutes, 59 seconds as well. Connor Bogard and Trevor Matora of MGS earned fifth and eighth place respectively, with Patrick McCarthy and Kyler Carr of Saratoga chipping in at fourth and ninth place. Last but not least, Cato Thannenball of MGS earned a new PR of 17 minutes, 51 seconds, and Asen Taylor and Peyton Lubart, Luberda of Saratoga adding to their own to the pile as Taylor crossed at 18 minutes, 37 seconds, and Luberda crossed at 17 minutes, 52 seconds. Nice job, boys. The running Braves keep the ball rolling against Newark, Melbrook, and Richland at home tonight. Go Braves! A remember, fall sports pictures are th t this Friday. That's tomorrow. Baseball, softball, golf, soccer, and cross-country athletes, make sure you bring your uniform so that you're ready for picture day. If you have any questions, contact your coach or our athletic director, Mr. Anderson. Honor Society students, please check your Google Classroom for information on working for our service project this weekend. Please be sure to respond to the form either way. Ms. Langano is starting up her Student Ambassadors program. Student Ambassadors are students in grades 6 through 8 that serve as role models for the school. They help new students make a smooth transition to Morris Grade School by providing tours and helping them get settled during their first few days at a new school. In addition to new student tours, Student Ambassadors help with Red Ribbon Week, PBIS celebrations, facilitate a step-up fifth grade Q&A panel in the spring, and other projects throughout the year. Student ambassadors can also be assigned to be elementary school helpers. These students sign up to go to a pre-K through second grade teacher's classrooms after school to help with elementary students' end-of-the-day activities, read to students, help students complete activities, and also to help the teacher with odd jobs and other tasks. If you would like to be a student ambassador, there are a couple requirements. 
Last year, you need to have less than five office referrals and no suspensions. Once you become a student ambassador, you cannot receive an F on your report card. Lastly, you need to have two recommendations from teachers or coaches. They can be from last year or this year. They will need to fill out a Google form for recommending you to be a student ambassador. If it is your responsibility to make sure that they fill them out, so make sure you remind them. Starting today, if you're interested, you can pick up a permission slip in an application from the main office, your social studies teacher or Mrs. Langano. The application will be on the back of the permission slip. Both sides need to be filled out and are due by Friday, September 9th, next Friday. You can turn permission slips and applications into the main office, your advisory teacher or Mrs. Langano. If you have any questions, please see Mrs. Langano for further questions. Attention all 6th, 7th, and 8th grade girls interested in playing basketball this year. Tryouts for the girls basketball team are Tuesday, September 6th and Wednesday, September 7th. That's when we get back from our Labor Day weekend. It's from 3.30 to 5.30 right here at Morris Grade School. If you plan to try out, please sign up outside of Mr. Anderson's office anytime today and tomorrow. 7th and 8th grade girls, you must have an up-to-date sports physical in order to try out. The Lady Braves A softball team has won their last two games. On Tuesday, they beat Gardner South Wilmington 14-9. Haley Olson, Ava Peterson, and McKenna Gliwa all had multiple hits for the Braves. Last night, they beat Troy 10-9. Kaylin Stranis had multiple hits for the Braves, while Ava, Bree Enerson, Marissa Sullivan, and Brenna Adams each added a hit. Attention all... Oh, that's the same announcement I was about to repeat. Well, it looks like that is all the announcements we have for today. But let's remember our Morris motto to be respectful, be responsible, and be safe. Have a great Thursday, everybody.